guys, this is my first shot of doing a head cam video, driver's pro, POV. That's gonna be a really small video since I'm seeing if the angle is gonna be good or not. But in this video, I'll just demonstrate how to stab cans. Stabbing cans when you're beginning, it's, it's a bit of a learning curve, but it just takes some time to get used to the equipment in the truck. So basically it's my can and so you know how your forks, your arm tube, it's about right there, bring it down to about lower to this level. And what I usually do as I fill out my forks, it's around just a little bit higher than when it would be for if I were trying to adjust for the pockets. And I just lower my arm. The reason why I do it like that is because when people are starting is um, they lower the fork all the way and then when they lower the arm the fork is already tilted too much to the downward you push the container away so if we get out here I'll show you. see how the arm right here looks too high the forks look too high but when I bring it on level here watch now the, now the forks go in smooth they're even and you can see it outside too See how even the forks are? Because the forks are even. And we dump this container and I'll even show you what I have to um, how I how I learned it from doing it from trial and error. We bring it up around windshield level, tilt the forks down. Basically, in my opinion, when you're dumping a bin, that's about the position of the bin. Because if you level out the bin then basically you won't have anything spill on your windshield, break your windshield and whatnot. Bring it all the way to the top and just dump it. But when you're lowering it, now it's about the position of the forks. Alert! Alert! The forks, ground level right there. The reason why you wanna be it at the level of the forks, you wanna go by the level of the forks to the level of the band is because there's a, there's a, a, a lot of play in those pockets so when you bring the bin down the bin actually lowers from the gravity of the forks so the bin kind of sags a little bit and if you bring it too low it'll actually hit the top of the canopy so I'm bringing it down bringing it down see how it just kind of maneuvered a little bit that's what I was talking about level it out level it out be soft with it back up if it was uh, like a yard and a half like a one yard container you would actually bring the out full out the forks a little more like that and then lower the arms a bit more the reason why that is is it'll adjust it uh, and adjust the forks based on how much adjustment i need the reason why it is the lower the pockets if the bin is lower you actually will leave the forks more up and just tilt the arm down but if the pockets are higher if you have the same position i was talking about with the yard and a half you bring the because the pockets are higher the forks will be like this meaning this say this the, this finger is the fork the fork will be too much and it'll hit and push the bin away. So if the pockets are higher, their arms need to be higher, but the forks need to be lower to get into the container. So basically, you know, just watch your mirrors. Be be careful all times, take your time, take your time. No reason to be in a rush and tear things down. Alright. So I had to close the gate real quick.
so big, you want to make sure you get every angle possible to see if there's a pedestrian in that blind spot right there. That's also why I like to have the forks up here. If there's wires, I usually lower them here, but it makes it really hard to see pedestrians, so it makes it a bit dangerous. I got one more container I want to show you. And that should be the cap for this video. It's a water treatment plant I want to come up to. Slow down. Jeez. Some people just... Jeez. Speed limit has not existed to them. Yeah, these hopper cameras, they're a blessing. You can see everything a customer throws in there. A lot of customers actually don't even think we have hopper cameras. They throw TVs on the bottom to try to be slick, and I actually uh, can see it, so I report it. Customer probably is thinking, what the heck? Nope. Sorry if I have the windows up, not down, so you can't hear the truck, but it's just, it's hot today. I have the AC full blast running right now. Stab this band and show you. So what I do is I look at the left hand side fork. I look at the left fork instead of the both forks. It makes it faster and easy. So I watch what I'm looking for with the fork. I'm watching just the beginning part where it attaches to this tool. I'm not watching the whole fork. When it looks like it's level L, then that's when I go for the full stab in the bin. Because if you go for the last, like the very front of the fork, the fork may be even, but when you go to fully stab, it'll push it away, and that's because the whole fork is not level out. So I bring the fork to just slightly higher in the pockets, just like that. And the next thing I do is I lower my arm, and that should be good right there. See, next thing, just dump it. Take your time going slow, stop, and just ease it out. It ain't 
front load of people not blocking you. Usually, no one's there, so I could just maneuver back straight out and just hit it. But a lot of customers will park right in front of your exit, so you gotta always change things up a bit. That's why when you are doing front load, I must also say that, especially me, sometimes I even still learning it. When you're doing front load, or starting out front load, you gotta practice your uh, your visualization and how you're gonna exit your stops. You know, how am I gonna get out to here? How am I gonna get out to there? You know, someone's blocking you, you need to know, you need to know where you're gonna get out or how you're gonna get out. And if it's not a problem if you don't know, but you just need to get out and look each time if you don't know what's around you. That, was, that saved me a lot. Especially when you're trying to back out and there's something in your blind spot and there's next to the, uh, on the, the blind side on the steer tire, that's your thing to be careful of because then you'll steer into it with your bumper or your cab. But that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my channel. I uh, will be bringing out more content in the future, especially hopper footage. So just stay tuned and enjoy. Leave our comments below and I'll be back answering all feedback.